It's Alex here. Today we're going to talk about the WGU Network Engineering degree. And this is a network slash security engineering degree. And it is one of WGU's tech degrees. Uh, WGU loves to branch out their tech degrees, uh, such as network engineering and cybersecurity and cloud computing. And these are all just branches of the basic information technology degree. You know, so I would probably recommend uh, the information technology degree over these ones. And of course, I would always recommend the computer science degree because you can get any of these jobs with a computer science degree. You know, it just opens up every single door in tech. Uh, whereas information technology is still somewhat limiting. And then the further down you go into these specific degrees, the more you limit yourself, right? So a network engineering degree or security engineering degree, you're going to be you know, kind of trapped in that field. It's still a really good field, though, and it actually might help you get a job in network engineering more than any of the other degrees. You know, so if you want to work like network engineering, security engineering for the next 20 years, then, you know, this odds are this is actually a really, really good degree for you. So I'm going to show you how to hack this degree. I'm going to show you how to get it done in six months by transferring all the ACE credits and certifications. And that way you only have to do 30 credits at WGU. So now the certifications are costly, but what you have to think is these certifications are two to $500 individually. Whereas if you save at WGU term, that's saving $4,000. Now, if you have financial aid, I always recommend to just probably skip doing the certs individually and just do them at WGU. But if you're not getting financial aid, it might be cost beneficial to actually do the certs individually. Uh, it's going to be time consuming and it's still going to be quite expensive to pay, off, pay for all these certs out of pocket. But it, it could be worth it depending if you're getting financial aid or not. So I will show you how to hack it. I'll show you how to get these, uh, I'll show you how to get this degree done fast. And one other comment about the certs is some of these cert classes like IT foundations and applications, they take 30 days. Whereas the non-cert classes are much, much faster. So I will also show you which cert classes you should probably do outside of WGU because at the school, they're really hard. So let's get into the spreadsheet right now. I'll show you how to hack this degree and be well on your way to a network engineering degree. Guys, we are in the spreadsheet here for WGU network engineering. So I'm going to show you guys how to hack this degree. And we're going to go course by course here. So you have English 305, which is a advanced technical writing course. Uh, it's not that hard. You do have some papers to submit study.com. And this class is about five or six days. You can probably go even faster than that if you want to. Uh, I also have a discount up here for study.com if you click this link. So if you want to use that, it is right here in the spreadsheet. So intro to psychology is another easy course at study.com. This shouldn't take you more than a few days. And then this, this degree is a little weird because it has three discrete math courses, but they're all broken down into one credit courses. So it's like one full three credit discrete math course broken into three different courses. But if you do the discrete math course at study.com, which is the only ACE credit platform to do discrete math, you can transfer in two of them. You can get rid of discrete math functions and relations and discrete math logic. And you would only have one more discrete math to do, which is algorithms and cryptography at the school. So, and considering that's a one credit course, I'm assuming it probably is not that hard. So I highly recommend discrete math on study.com. I always recommend do all the math outside of WGU. All of you who think you can't do the math in any of these tech degrees, you know, believe in yourself. You can do them on the ACE credit platforms, which are much easier than college courses. Okay. You can get a network engineering degree. You can get a computer science degree. You absolutely 100% can do it. Okay. So discrete math. If you take that, it, it gets rid of both of these courses. One course gets rid of two. Now, Humanities 201 gets rid of this course, Critical Thinking, Reason and Evidence. Biology 102 Basic uh, Genetics gets rid of your science course at WGU. And then you have your introductory computer science courses. Uh, fundamentals of Information Technology, Database Fundamentals, Introduction to Networking, and Introduction to Programming will get rid of all of these foundation courses at WGU. 
Then you have principles of management, gets rid of IT leader, leadership foundations. And none of these courses should take you more than seven or eight days, in my honest opinion. And then we get to straighter line. I recommend a few courses there. Uh, English, you can take this on study if you choose to. Uh, and then you got college algebra and statistics. And I recommend these on straighter line because they're easier. I always think the math on straighter line is easier. Just discrete math is only available on study.com of all the ACE credit platforms. So I prefer study.com for most, most courses, but I do think math in general is slightly easier on straighter line. And then Sophia, Introduction to Web Development is only available on Sophia. It's not available anywhere else uh, to transfer it in. So you would have to do that course there if you want to transfer it. And then Project Management is available on both Sophia and Study. I think it's slightly easier on Study. I mean, slightly easier on Sophia, excuse me. And that's why I have this listed as Sophia. I'm trying to find the easiest courses for you guys and the fastest courses for you guys. And... Uh, you know, these are my personal recommendations. So these are the ACE credits. And I would, tr I would absolutely recommend to transfer in all the ACE credits because they're easy courses. They're not that expensive. You know, all of this, I would make sure to get transferred in, okay? If you really want to complete your degree fast and affordable, uh, I highly recommend taking advantage of ACE credits. Now, certs is where it gets a little interesting. So certs, if you're getting financial aid and it's covering like 90% of your tuition, I would just do it at WGU. You know, sure, you're not going to graduate in six months. You know, uh, you're definitely going to graduate in three terms or less if you transfer in all the ACE credits. And you'll probably graduate in two terms if you really, really hustle. Um, but you're probably not going to graduate in one term if you save all these certs for WGU. I mean, it's almost guaranteed you're not going to graduate in one term if you have to do all these certs at WGU. But if you're not getting financial aid, I would recommend doing a lot of these certs. You know, sure, you're going to be paying out of pocket, but it'll still save you money in the long run compared to paying another $4,000 semester at WGU. You know, it's obviously really expensive. So which certs would I recommend to do? If you're not getting financial aid, um, I would recommend doing most of them. So let's see here. Let's go over this. I would definitely recommend doing your CompTIA A+, because these are very lengthy courses at WGU. Most people, uh, most people say these took three to four weeks each for them to get through, uh, from what I've read on Reddit and other, uh, like WGU Facebook groups. These are, they're not hard. They're just very, very long. So getting your CompTIA A plus and transferring it in and getting rid of these two courses is really beneficial to you. So one, one certification, one A plus certification gets rid of eight credits, which is really, really good. So if you're going to do any of these certs, there are two I definitely recommend. One is CompTIA A plus, and the other one would be CCSK which would transfer in as managing cloud security. The reason is I've heard this class on WGU is quite hard and it'd be better to get rid of it uh, with the CCSK certification. Now you can get rid of it with CCSP, but with that, you that cert's like super hard to get and you need like uh, multiple years of experience to get that cert. And it's like five, $600 uh, last time I checked. So, you know, I would definitely recommend doing CCSK instead which is from a uh, cloud security Alliance. I believe it's called. So, uh, another, this course is pretty easy too. Uh, this exam, I mean, I'm sure you'll have to study for a couple weeks, but you know, this is one of the easier certs to get and it transfers in as business of it applications. So I definitely recommend doing this one, this one and getting comp T to transfer in as this as well. Also, if you do your CCNA or comp T network plus, you can get rid of networks, which is also one of the hardest courses at WGU. So I am making another video where I put together the top 20 hardest courses at WGU and networks is actually in that video. So like I said, I've heard, uh, I've heard things about it where it's just, it's really hard. It's really difficult, especially if you don't have a great grasp of network, uh, networking. So 
I would definitely recommend doing either Network Plus or CCNA. CCNA is more valuable when it comes to career-wise, but if we're talking about just trying to get this degree done fast, uh, Network Plus, I've heard, is a slightly easier cert than CCNA. So, And there's many places you can practice for that, such as Dr. Messer, uh, Professor Messer. So he has a lot of good stuff on networking, especially CCNA. And then Introduction to Cryptography, you can get that with uh, EC Council, ECES. And then Linux Foundations, you can transfer in with either CompTIA Linux Plus or LPI Linux Essentials. And I've heard this one is a little bit easier. Uh, I'm not sure which one is cheaper though. I think this one is also cheaper too. So you might want to look into that test. And then your cloud applications, that can be CompTIA Cloud Plus or any Google Cloud Cert. Any single Google Cloud Cert will work to transfer that in. Then if you do a DevNet Cisco Cert, it'll get rid of two courses. Uh, you can do any DevNet Cisco Cert and it gets rid of both of these courses at the same time. So software defined networking and internet of things and in, uh, infrastructure. So both of those will be gone. And that is basically all of your certs. Uh, you also have CompTIA Security Plus, which is a really good cert. It's probably my favorite uh, CompTIA cert. Like if you want to get a security job, it's you know one of the basic things that you need to have on your resume is that CompTIA Security Plus and it would get rid of network and security applications. Although if you do want to do your CCNA, you know, it does get rid of networks and it gets rid of this course too. So, you know, CCNA is killing two birds with one stone there. So that's uh, obviously very valuable. So certs, if you're not getting financial aid, it's really, it's a really good thing to do them. If you're not doing financial, I mean, if you are getting financial aid, so if you are getting financial aid and it's paying like 90% of your tuition, I would still transfer in all these because it'll get your degree done really fast. And these are all really affordable. And I would do probably maybe two of these. I would still probably try to do your CompTIA A plus at a bare minimum. And then maybe if you're going to do one other cert, I'd probably do the, the cloud managing cloud security one. And then the rest, I would probably just save for WGU. So that is my recommendation. You'll have 30 credits to do at the school. So it says 25 right here, but you have to save five credits somewhere up here, five to six credits for the school. So you have to choose not to do one or two of these somewhere. And then you'll have 30 credits to do at the school with 25 of these being the 30 credits. You'll have ethics and technology. I've taken this class. It's literally a one day course. Um, study all day and take it. It's a really easy exam. Don't overthink it. Introduction to system thinking. Um, I've heard mixed reactions about this course, but you should be able to get it done within five days. I'm thinking uh, discrete math, one credit course, introduction to spreadsheets. I've taken this course. Heck, a lot of things I've learned in these spreadsheets are actually from this one credit course. I highly recommend it, and it's not that hard. Version control is a very easy one credit course. Uh, and then you got some very good courses that you'll probably learn a lot from and will apply to your job, which is network analytics and troubleshooting, Python for IT automation, network automation and deployment, and telecom and wireless communications. So especially these three. So I feel like these three courses will actually help you for your job a lot, and they will actually give you some, you know, skills that you can apply to your job. So I would definitely recommend paying attention to these three courses, and they're probably pretty useful. And then of course you have your capstone. So like I said, this is a really good degree. If you want to get into network engineering or eventually some security job, I like this degree quite a bit. You know, it's, it's right there with the cybersecurity and cloud computing degree uh, regarding trying to get into a specific field, right? So the information technology degree or computer science degree can get you basically like any of these fields. And then you have the cloud computing degree where you can get a cloud job, you know, and it helps you, uh, but it, and it helps you learn cloud more than the other degrees. So yes, you'll be limited to just cloud, but 
you'll know cloud a lot more than the other degrees taught you. It's the same thing with this, this network engineering degree, right? You'll learn networks a lot more than the other degrees. Sure, you'll be limited to just networking and security type jobs, but you'll, you'll know networking and security really, really well compared to all the other degrees. Uh, and then also the, the cybersecurity degree, right? You'll, you'll learn cybersecurity way better than any of the other degrees, but you're just kind of limiting yourself to cybersecurity and basic IT jobs. So this is a good degree. I like it a lot. I like all of WGU's tech degrees. I don't think you can go wrong with any of them personally. I mean, if you're asking my personal recommendation, you know, I would always try for the computer science degree. I feel like that is the gold standard. Uh, but if you are interested in IT, uh, if you are interested in uh, getting like an IT job and you just don't want to do the computer science degree, I would recommend maybe the basic information technology degree. But if you really think, like if you really feel like this would be fun to you, like you really want to learn network engineering and you really want to work in network engineering, this degree is fantastic. And it's the same thing with cloud, right? If you really want to like all your classes to be cloud, you really want to learn cloud like every class you learn and you really, really are just dead set on working in cloud and staying in cloud, I actually like the cloud degree a lot as well. So, you know, WGU once again has some fantastic degrees. They're all very hackable. You can get a bona fide tech bachelor degree in under one year if you put in the work, put in a lot of hustle, you know, and stay dedicated. So, I wish you guys the absolute best of luck here. I have more WGU videos coming out and I have more videos how to hack school uh, coming out as well. So this might be my last Monday video for a while because I'm working on a website, which I'm trying to release this month or next month. So this might be my last Monday video for a little while, but I'll still be releasing videos on every Wednesday afternoon and every Saturday afternoon. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If it helped you at all in any way, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. You can download the spreadsheet at my website, majormash.com, which I'll try to put in the pinned comment if I have time. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much.